evening, everyone. I'm your host, Danny McClarty. Now let's get right into the news. Our first story comes from a massive car explosion in downtown Johnsonville on Bolg Street. Here we have traffic camera footage. And here's the footage from the dash cam of another vehicle. This is all very tragic. Now there has been research done on gasoline powered engines and gasoline combustion. Apparently according to this research, gasoline combustion engines are incredibly dangerous and are also not environmentally friendly. Gasoline engines produce carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, and this is very bad for the environment. Now according to Dr. Loney Ford, the raw equation for this fuel is C8H18 plus 12.5O18 equals 8CO2 plus 9H2O. The balanced equation on the other hand is C8H18 plus O2 equals CO2 plus H2O. If you drive a car that runs with gasoline, you might have a few issues. But if you sell this fuel, you shouldn't have any worries. Gasoline is extremely cheap, and this is why so many people use it. Now I know a lot of our viewers out there might not know how this works. Well, let me explain it to you. The gasoline in the vehicle reacts with the oxygen in the tank, and this creates a mini explosion, which propels the car forward. Gasoline is a product of crude oil, and is mostly made of hydrocarbons. Gasoline is apparently made up of mostly octane, which is why the equation is the equation for octane. Next on Collins News is on hydrogen-powered vehicles. New hydrogen-powered vehicles are coming out in the next few years. These vehicles can be great for the environment, but are not perfect. Now these new vehicles are much more eco-friendly because they don't burn fossil fuels like gasoline-powered cars do. The only byproduct of hydrogen-powered vehicles is water. The fuel cells of these vehicles are much more efficient than diesel or gasoline engines. They have a decent driving range, the tanks fill up very quickly, and theirs is a longer fuel cell life. The vehicles are very quiet because the external combustion engines work much quieter than the external powered engines. The bad thing is that the cars have a byproduct of water. In extreme climates, the water can freeze, causing an issue. Now going deeper into how these vehicles work, when the chemical reaction happens, hydrogen and oxygen join together to make electrical energy and leaving harmless water vapor as a byproduct. If the chemical reaction is large enough, it will move the car. Hydrogen powered vehicles are external combustion engines. That means the chemical reactions happen outside of the engine, unlike the gasoline-powered vehicles, where the chemical process happens inside the engine. Now according to Dr. Elias Mohoro, the chemical equation for this chemical process is fuel plus O2 equals CO2 plus H2O, and the balanced equation is 2H2 plus O2 equals 2H2O. Alright folks, that's all for today. See you tomorrow on Collins News.